Why don't you really know what you want? Two reasons that you don't really know what you want. Number one, you have it. Number two, you don't know yourself because you never can. The Godhead is never an object of its own knowledge. Just as a knife doesn't cut itself, fire doesn't burn itself, light doesn't illumine itself. It's always an endless mystery to itself. I don't know. And this I don't know, uttered in the infinite interior of the spirit, this I don't know is the same thing as I love, I let go, I don't try to force or control. It's the same thing as humility. And so the Upanishads say, if you think that you understand Brahman, you do not understand. And you have yet to be instructed further. If you know that you do not understand, then you truly understand. For the Brahman is unknown to those who know it, and known to those who know it not. And the principle is that any time you, as it were, voluntarily let up control, in other words, cease to cling to yourself, you have an access of power. Because you're wasting energy all the time in self-defense trying to manage things, trying to force things to conform to your will. The moment you stop doing that, that wasted energy is available. And therefore, you are, in that sense, having that energy available, you are one with the divine principle. You have the energy. When you're trying, however, to act as if you were God, that is to say, you don't trust anybody and you're the dictator and you have to keep everybody in line, you lose the divine energy. Because what you're doing is simply defending yourself. So then, the principle is, the more you give it away, the more it comes back. Now you say, I don't have the courage to give it away. I'm afraid. And you can only overcome that by realizing, you better give it away, because there's no way of holding on to it. The meaning of the fact, you see, that everything is dissolving constantly, that we're all falling apart, we're all in a process of constant death, all falling apart. Everything is. That's the, the great assistance to you. See, that, that fact that everything is in decay is your helper. That is allowing you that you don't have to let go because there's nothing to hold on to. <laughs> it's achieved for you, in other words, by the process of nature. So once you see that uh, you just don't have a prayer and it's all washed up and that you will vanish and leave not a rack behind and you really get with that, suddenly you find you have the power, this enormous access of energy. But it's not power that came to you because you grabbed it. It came in entirely the opposite way.